hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naka and today i am doing a kitchen reveal i am showing you my brand new kitchen we did this kitchen in july as i said in my 2023 recap and i want to show you the whole thing it's small i know but i want to give you a tour um in the tour i want to include things like the decoration why i chose what i chose the colors that i chose the designs uh, my appliances the colors that i i tried to go with so i want to show you all of that and i'll also include my previous kitchen it was a l shape yes it was an l shape kitchen or you i don't know but i'll show you the clips of that kitchen the colors but i just didn't take i didn't give there isn't a tour for that old thing no there isn't there's only a tour for this brand new baby behind me i'm so excited and i, I hope you guys will enjoy let's get into it Right, so we're gonna start from the glass um, display i will show you the ins and outs of my cupboards because one thing that this kitchen did for me is give me space i have a lot of space now some of the cupboards are empty as you will see but i have plenty of space which i'm very very happy about so yeah let's start with the glass display so as you can see inside it's blue the color that my husband chose i'll just call it blue the husband that my color chose my husband chose and then they also put an LED light just to show the glasses that are inside here and how nice they look. I also have space for some alcohol if I want to display that. Some nice bottles. But as you can see, there's a mix of blue and black and then glass. All right. And then as we move down, I have another cupboard which we put our, um, our gas cylinder. Our gas cylinder sits in here. It's safe and at least it's far from the stove. And then as we move over... Here we just put a bunch of, honestly, it's just a bunch of uh, stuff. This is a UPS. Yeah, it's, it's just a UPS in here, basically. You see how, many, how much space I still have there? Okay, and then here is where we put the plates. So it's on the side of the stove as I, as I have um, these things here for cooking the stove. And then when we dish up, you're going to dish up here. But yeah, this is where we pack our plates. As you can see, up there, up at the top, we have nothing. The space is empty. So I, I have, I still have plenty of space to do whatever it is that I want to do. Okay, so I went with the brown because the brown looks so nice. This is really like a Pinterest redo. I, I took this uh, picture like this from uh, Pinterest and I just decided to go with it. And so as you can see, there's a mix of browns, there's a mix of black and some white, which will match with um, the backsplash. So this thing was silver, so but I painted it black because I wanted it to match the kitchen the kit the, the kitchen rail and we're also going to change our lights to black just so that our colors are, are matching so this black also goes very well with this black on the on the glass display and then as you move over you can see the stove is also black so that's great um because the colors are not confused you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but this side it's for when you are cooking so our things are not all over the place this side is for the stove when you are cooking and then when we come here oh yes when you are cooking and then the nice thing is that from here when you're cooking with your spoons and whatnot you have the kitchen rack which is close by and then as you can see guys we have plenty of space but one thing i should warn you about don't buy these things from pep because nothing comes out so i, I literally have to open it and scoop with the spoon but as you can see i still have plenty of space for my um spices and then underneath the stove i have my spoons 
I have my spoons here. Too much, too much, too much space, as you can see. As I told you, I have a lot of space, and I never have had my spoons like that. And then here, I still have more space to put the rest of the stuff, extra spoons, these things, whatever. And then underneath, this is where I have my nice pots. My nice pots sit in here. And as you can see, there's still plenty of space for me to put more pots. Okay? Cool. Ooh, wow. I said it was small, but no. Now that I'm explaining it to you, it's not so small. If we come here, just up at the top, I really don't have anything in here. As you can see, like, there's just nothing. It's just empty. Okay? And then over here, this is our tea coffee station. The kettle is here. As you can see, there's nothing for the stove. There's nothing that you will use when you're cooking. So I have my um, tea stuff here, my coffee, my sugar. They're all sitting here. And as you can see, the browns. The browns again and again and again. I put, I got this, I don't know where I saw the video, but I got some advice that if you want to um, hide the blanks or maybe, maybe too many plugs for the kitchen, has to have plugs. You can use your cutting boards as something that you can hide with so I, I think this one is too big for this area so i'll need to buy a smaller one but as you can see the colors are still continuing the silvers now going with the appliances that i have as you can see my kettle is silver the stove here a little bit of it is silver as well yes and as you can see the countertop is white matching with the backsplash and the the color of the cupboard and then mixed it with and mixed with blue it looks looks sharp it looks good okay and then i wanted open shelf so I got open shelf. I didn't really want it for anything in particular. I just wanted it to deco. But we use these things every day. So I'm thinking I'll change this blue um, cups to something that we use on a daily basis. I don't know. I'll just we'll see. But yeah, the blues continue. So the blue continues matching with the color of um, the house. And then moving over here, I still have plenty of space. As you can see, plenty, plenty of space. So I just put my cups and whatever other stuff. Nothing that matches goes inside. Yes. So, um, as you can see, again, the black continues, guys. I'm sure now you know you have, you have a list of the colors that I have in my kitchen. They are all the same. <laughs> so, the black matches with that, um, that thing and then with the curtain rail and also it's going to match with the lights. Yes. And then moving over to the color of my appliances, this color grayish, the, the, gray, the gray silverish color continues. And then here... Underneath the sink, you have, I have space for my cleaning stuff, the dishwashing powder, the iron, the dustbin, the dustbin that we keep in the house. So it sits here, and then you can just close. So it works out. And then this is a, a dream come true for me and my husband. We've always wanted a pantry. We watch too much TV, and they're always talking about a pantry. Uh, pantry this, pantry there. So it's like, we also want a pantry. We want a space where we can put all this stuff. So we have a pantry. When you look at it from this angle, it's small. But when I open it, you can even see it's empty. It's so empty. But I have plenty of space. I still need to buy um, more decanters so I can put some of my stuff. But I use the old ones that I had. But I have plenty of space going down. I still have a lot of space to put anything that I want to put in here. Even some of the stuff that I hear don't belong here. But yeah, this is it. It's big. It's big enough. So this is more space. You see, I have plenty of space. That is a two plate stuff up there, back up when we don't have, um, when our guest is finished and it's in the middle of the night because it doesn't warn you that thing. And then here we also have our air fryer and then we have our toaster. So the, the, the oil decanter that I bought, I bought two of them from at home. And then I also have this hand mixer here. So here I put the appliances that you would normally find on the countertop. So I put them here because I don't want any clutter on my countertops. We don't have too much space, so we only need to put the stuff that we need to use. And then um, here we're supposed to have a microwave um, similar to this, but the space was great. It was perfect. It was the right size. So we continued with the microwave that we had previously. Good thing is that the color was what we already have in the house, which is silver and your gray colors. And then this is our um, oven. So our oven is not mixed with the stove, like, you know, in the olden days. This one is, what do they call it again? I, I forgot what they call it, but yeah. Yes, the oven is here. If we are baking, we are baking. You are not baking there by the stove. And then just underneath that, I have more space, guys. 
and here we put some uh we put plastics and then we also put uh my cheap pots <laughs> my not so fancy pots <laughs> must separate okay <laughs> yeah okay guys we're almost at the end of the tour but this is our fridge so initially we wanted a smaller fridge because we thought our kitchen is too small this fridge was taking too much space but the only issue was the kind of kitchen that we previously had the kitchen was closed up and we, yeah we couldn't see the vision with this fridge we were selling it but no one was buying it so while they were still busy with um the kitchen i came in here and i saw space i was like will my fridge fit in here and then the guy said yeah it will fit and then we put it here and it fits right like it's so perfect i'm so glad that we didn't sell it because we still need the size of a fridge our family yeah it can be small to some but for us it's big so we need to buy a lot of stuff at once and then over here i still have more space which i'm just putting um random stuff just um kids glasses and some maybe if i want to hide some stuff from randy i'll put them in there because it's so high up so he can't see what's in here even if you open it and then over here i have more space so i'm hiding more stuff from him it's just empty so that is um there are juices that i'm hiding from him okay guys we've come to the end of the tour i don't know if i forgot anything um yeah this is the end of the tour and yeah that's my kitchen and i'm happy with it i love it if we are speaking budget guys okay let's get into the budget side of things we um joined a stock fell in order to afford this kitchen because we didn't have um, the amount that they needed in order for us to redo the kitchen because it, it included demo we had to demo the kitchen and we had to buy some new appliances so there was a whole lot of costs that were involved so we joined the stock file and then we saved using uh, we the stock to, to finish the kitchen we needed an amount of 50 was it 55 it was 51k yes to do the kitchen it was 51k but outside of that we had to buy appliances and our appliances um the budget for appliances was 10k so uh, 51k plus 10k and we had to pay the electrician because he had to move some cables around and then we paid that guy about how much was that a money 1300 yeah a, a thousand something there in the thousand yeah maybe a thousand five i think we, had, we paid him thousand five because he had to just move some um plugs around yeah, and then here and there, like guys, yo, you need to just you need to have money when you are doing such a thing. But even if you don't have money, just maybe have a plan, um, because there were some things that we needed to buy: some pipes, some plugs. We had to buy a lot of stuff. Hey, yo, it was a lot. But at, at, at the end of the day, we got it done. And the good thing is that I also was in a homeware stock fell, and in the homeware stock fell, I managed to buy my new pot. I managed to buy some deco stuff for my kitchen more plates and more glasses more glasses and more cups so i managed to uh, try to fill up my cupboards you know have the things that i need or have some extras you know what i mean but yeah so uh, but if, if i can give you any advice when you want to do something especially a big project like this if you if you get a code for example we got a code for 51k and then we had 51k we were ready and then we just paid and then after that we had to have the extra money to do all this other stuff, buy appliances, do the black the backsplash because the backsplash was not even included. So you, you can even add another because we had to stop at some point with the backsplash because we didn't have any more money and we needed to buy more tiles and then we needed to pay the guy again. So if if you have the the, the main capital, start. Pambil, yes. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Let me know what you think of the kitchen. And yeah, that's it. Bye.